2023 marks 75 years since the Palomar Observatory right here in San Diego County was first dedicated. It recently made headlines after the famous green comet was discovered by researchers there. But what exactly goes on behind closed doors? CBS 8's Shannon Handy shows us. Like a lot of San Diegans, I had heard about the Palomar Observatory, but had never actually visited. It turns out there's a fascinating history behind this place, and its contributions to science are remarkable. Located up windy roads, about 60 miles east of central San Diego, you'll find a big white dome positioned 5,500 feet above sea level in the Palomar Mountain Range. Its official name, the Palomar Observatory, one of the most prestigious facilities in the world. Hi. Our tour guide for the day, Dr. Andy Bowden, an astronomer and administrator at the site, which was dedicated back in 1948. This year is our 75th anniversary. Dr. Bowden's knowledge about this place coincides with his passion for it. For him, the work done here helps connect us with everything out there. It's that very intimate connection between the astrophysical processes and how they connect to life on Earth. But before we get into what exactly goes on at the Palomar Observatory, I asked Dr. Bowden to explain how it got here in the first place. The observatory was the vision of Dr. George Ellery Hale, an astrophysicist. He helped develop the California Institute of Technology, also known as Caltech, a private research university in Pasadena. In 1928, they received a $6 million grant from the Rockefeller Foundation to build a telescope and its accompanying dome. $2,020 is about $90 million. By 1939, Dr. Bowden says the building and telescope seal were both in place, but the remaining work came to a halt during World War II over concerns the observatory could become a target. When it finally did open in 1948, the telescope was the largest one on the planet. This is a 200 inch or five meter aperture telescope. Now, decades later, it's still in use daily. On a nightly basis, we open the dome and we collect starlight or light from stuff out in the sky with this telescope and two smaller telescopes. The telescopes capture pictures, which are then studied by astronomers using computers inside a separate room. Doing this, they've learned more about black holes, other galaxies, and cosmic expansion. One of the most recent well-known discoveries made here was a green comet, which hadn't been seen for 50,000 years. The Hale telescope is so sensitive, surrounding communities have certain lights to help researchers do their best work. They use a special type of street light called a low pressure sodium light and that's specifically designed to emit light in certain wavelengths that we know where to look and not to try to do our measurements there. Something else worth noting, the temperature inside the dome is so cold the day we were there was set to 38 degrees as a way to help researchers do their best work. We actually keep the telescope in the dome at the outside nighttime temperature so that there's not a big thermal shock, there's not a big temperature change between the inside of the dome and the outside air when we open the dome. It's a 24-hour operation, which means several researchers call the Palomar Observatory home, literally. There are 13 cottages scattered across 2,000 acres of land where half of the full-time staff live. As for the public, you can visit for free and view the telescope from an enclosed area. There's also a visitor center showcasing its history in the inner workings of space a scientific marvel right here in San Diego. We're very excited and we're humbled to be here. To celebrate 75 years, plans are underway to hopefully hold a public event here sometime in the spring or summer. In the meantime, if you'd like to visit, the observatory is open daily from 9 until 3.30. However, private tours have not resumed since the pandemic. Reporting from the Palomar Observatory, I'm Shannon Handy for CBS 8.